I think the first thing that I saw yesterday that just made me say that the media is so full of it, right? <laughs> the first thing that I saw was Jimmy Garoppolo signs a deal that makes him the highest paid backup I quarterback. Know. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. It, it, <laughs> <Right>? It's. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? It's a headline. <laughs> it's a headline. Our friends at Lazy Boy are giving away six pairs of tickets. Each ticket winner and a friend can enjoy one of the NFL London games hosted at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Get close to the action with a seat in a Lazy Boy spectator recliner chair watching from a money can't buy location. Soaking up the atmosphere from pitch side while players warm up. You'll also enjoy complimentary food and drinks served at your seat throughout this experience. To enter, simply go to la-z-boy.co.uk forward slash NFL. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully, we'll see you there. My brother Osi, mm -hmm. I want to welcome you okay. to your podcast. Okay. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. welcome to the Osi. No, no, Jason no, no, no. podcast. No, no? no. Jason. Nelson oh, okay, okay. The Jason, Jason and Osi podcast. podcast. Someone did what before they got here? Did a little boxing class. A little boxing. A little one two one two. How come you look like mm -hmm. you haven't done anything? Yeah, because you know he has a shower in there, ah. and so I took a nice little shower. Okay. I got a little cool down, and then it, I, I had to, you know, catch the tube to come over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you lived my life. Yeah, no, that's what I did today. <laughs> That's the mistake I made today. Oh, it's a, it, yeah. the tubes are slow today. Oh, it is definitely was. I, I didn't, you know, in my head, I was like, oh, it's going to be much faster if I take the tube. But then there was a lot of walking involved. There was a lot of ups and downs. And I was like, I just, it did. it's not what I was looking for How did you my not, workout. How did you not sweat in that shirt? Yeah, that, I was sweating a little bit. Because, but because there was so much walking, mm -hmm. you know, and then, you know, sometimes when you're in the tube, there's a little breeze. It goes, <laughs> You know the little breeze. You gotta find yeah, it too, <laughs> like somebody just just gift like yeah. your 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 parents are giving you that. When yeah, you just a little sum sum. So it kind of cooled me down, but right. uh, I'll probably never ever in my entire life uh, take the tube from where I took the tube from to here again. It's, it's just not gonna happen. It just wasn't worth it. I'm very proud of you taking the tube. Thank you, Jabo. I I remember back in the day. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this. You used to sit in the car so long mm. to go to our show, mm -hmm. to film our show. Yeah. One day you were like, I'm, I'm not doing this. Mm. I'm taking the tube. I'm yeah. taking the train. Yep. You remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. You walked in and you looked at me and you said, I'll never do that yep. again. Not doing this again. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> not happening. And the funny thing was, remember uh, at, that, at that time, uh, it was either going or coming back that we were in – the middle mm. of like rush hour going right? back it was going back going right? back we were in oh death my traffic. gosh and so oh. even on the train it was like <laughs> and i was like oh my god i just i can't do it i'm gonna sit in the car can't do it i'm gonna sit in the car can't do it i remember calling you one time and i was home and you were like you home mm -hmm. i was like, like yeah. how <laughs> <laughs> how are you at home <laughs> incredible i think you were mad at that yeah all right, man, the season's about to kick off. It's yeah, right it around is. the corner. You happy? You excited? I am very excited, and it's ridiculous that it's. I'm excited because there's just so much hope. Mm. There's hope for everybody. Mm -hmm. Hope for players, hope for teams, mm. hope for us. Yeah. And as much as we see these rosters, some don't change, yep. right? Some are overhauls you still look at everything like it's an unknown. Mm -hmm. And that, that is fascinating. Mm. Which brings me to something that I really want to know your opinion on. Yeah. I want to discuss the Trey Lance, mm. Jimmy Garoppolo decision in San Francisco. Yeah. 49ers. For those that don't know, Trey Lance was drafted two years ago. Well, last year, Jimmy G was a, a starter. Yeah. yeah, he was a rookie. But there was like, a, oh, we're going to bring in Trey Lance. We, there was really no way he should have been playing over Jimmy G last year. Well, that wasn't the plan last year. Yeah. The plan was for him to get a year to get acclimated to the NFL, and mm -hmm. this was going to be the year. Yeah. Only purely because of how high he was drafted. Yeah. When you draft a guy that high, he's got to get on the field. Mm. So, it uh, and Jimmy G doesn't take them over the hill, right? Great roster, just doesn't get them to the promised land, the Super Bowl. That's the thing. 
Jets. Took them to a Super Bowl. Doesn't but win the Super not Bowl. Not win the Super yeah, Bowl. My bad. Okay. Doesn't and and they got a great team, great yeah. roster. Mm-hmm. So supposedly, supposedly, yeah. on paper it looks yeah. really good. I mean, supposedly. it's it's pretty strong. I would say supposedly. You don't you don't agree with that? Obviously, they're really good. Okay. Yeah. Do you think they're a good roster? Supposedly. So you don't think so? I'm I mean, sure. I just I don't. I think, it's interesting. I think that because this might kill my whole. This might no. kill this whole conversation. You know, you know what I think? Okay. I think that they are well coached i think they're extremely i agree with that well coached i agree with that that's what i would say but i wouldn't say that player for player they have one of the top rosters oh really no a guy who loves defenses nick bosa is better than his brother no he's not nick uh, nick bosa will be better than joey bosa I, I just don't, don't know how you say that. You know, <laughs> I think Nick. Bo- they're both great, uh, yeah. but Nick Bosa's amazing. Fred Warner, fantastic player, right? Debo Samuel's, Kittle. You know, they just so got- they have a tight end. Yeah, um, a middle linebacker. Uh huh. A D end. Yep. Dominant and, players. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just throwing out the dominant players. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just they, they they overall I think they have a really good roster. Yeah, I think they have one of the best rosters in the NFL. Yeah, okay. When you remove the quarterback, okay. mm. so I agree with your statement. When you add the quarterback in there, mm. when you remove it, I mm. look at them like a better roster. Mm. Would you say they have a better roster than let's say the Chargers? Yes. Okay. So on the Chargers, oh, minus the quarterback. Okay, minus the quarterback. Minus, this is minus quarterback. Okay, so on the yeah. Chargers, you have Joey Bosa. Yep. Khalil Mack. Yep. Keenan Allen. Yep. You got the quarterback, Rashawn Slater. Mm-hmm. You have the two corners. Uh, The two corners. You yeah. Mean the, the safety, you mean? The corner. Did they, didn't they draft the corner last year? Well, they just signed um, J.C. Jackson. J.C. Jackson. Yeah, and her. then on the other side, the, the young one. is It's not Sartan. Um. Uh, oh, you're talking about what's the name's little bro, uh, yeah. son? Um, Samuel. Sante Sam- Samuel. Uh, Sante Samuel. Yeah. yeah. Who who didn't play great last year? Okay. Well, you're a corner. You would know. No, nah, I mean, um, he, he, but I, I, I like him. Yeah. Yeah. So you would say the 49ers have a better roster than that? I think without the quarterback, a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just, just, but, but with Herbert, you can't, you can't go against mm. the Chargers. Okay. Herbert is the man. Both good rosters. Both regardless. very good rosters. Yeah. Very. This is what makes. Um, we, when we talk about the AFC West, mm. which makes it so mm. crazy, I do uh, I do like Mike Williams too, the other receiver. So Mike Williams, I yeah. like him a lot yeah. too. Um, so my question is, with this Trey Lance Jimmy G situation, Jimmy G old quarterback, he's on his way out. Mm-hmm. And you've made a statement before, I totally agree with, is that quarterbacks are treated differently. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. with what kid gloves? You yeah, said. kid gloves. That's how they treat. Them. They they do right. They're little babies. They do. Like I treat my little boy. That's it. Just just yeah. it, real soft. Yeah. So I, what fascinates me about this, they brought Trey, Jimmy G back, mm. uh, gave him, he renegotiated his contract, came back, he's the backup. Mm-hmm. He hasn't practiced with him. Mm-hmm. They've kind of removed him from the scene. Mm-hmm. Now he's back on the scene. Mm-hmm. And I look at this from a broader perspective on your thoughts of a team, a coach, an organization, not doubling down on a decision that they made Mm -hmm. because they were going to move on. Yes. But they decided not to because it's better for their team. Mm -hmm. But yes, but I think sometimes in life, most people can't do that. Most people have to have to double down on that decision because they're investing in it. Mm. And I look at this as an interesting case study on an organization that said, we're going to do what's best for everyone. Yeah. Um, okay. There's a lot to unpack here. Yeah. Right? I really want to know what your thoughts are on this. I think the first thing that I saw yesterday that just made me say that the media is so full of it, right? <laughs> the first thing that I saw was Jimmy Garoppolo signs a deal that makes him the highest paid backup I quarterback. Know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, what are you, ta- what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah. It, <laughs> right? it, it, it's. <laughs> what, are you ta- what are you talking about? It's a headline. It's a headline. I mean, it just, I never, 
I never, I never knew we were celebrating the highest paid backup quarterbacks. Jason Bell is the highest paid gunner in, 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 on the in the NFL on special teams. No gunner that runs downfield on punt coverage gets more money than Jason Bell. I just didn't know it was a stat. I wanted it. They should have gave it to your boy. That's the best thing I saw. I was like, what are y'all talking? What are y'all talking about? What talking point is this? Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Right. <laughs> I didn't even think of it that way. You're right. But remember, you yeah, saw it. Yeah. I'm like, what are y'all? Because I went somewhere what is else. This? But then, it, yeah, it's it's like, what come is on. this? Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> they're waiting for games to start, bro. <laughs> they celebrated it. Every headline. I was like, what is this? Which, which <laughs> right. makes it such a significant talking point, right? So there was that. Mm-hmm. No, I think. Um, we know San Francisco tried to trade Jimmy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, there was really no concrete offers for him because teams were smart. They were yeah. like, "Listen, you're gonna have to do something with this guy, right? We're, we're not, not gonna give you anything for him, and we're not taking his contract." Yeah. Period. Cut right? him. Yeah. And so now San Francisco had to make a decision. You're like, do we cut this guy? Do we allow him to go to one of our rivals, right. maybe Seattle? Right. Do, we, do we allow him to do that? <clears throat> Or, you know, do we just wait and see what happens? They waited and saw what happened. They were like, oh, Trey's okay. He's doing good. But uh, <laughs> like you said earlier, we got a really good roster. We're not so sure about this guy. We're not, we're not 100% sure. So what are we going to do? We're going to sign a contract to make you the highest paid backup <laughs> in the league. A record contract. A record contract for the backup, you're, right? You're, you're funny. Right. That so, is. yeah. So, there's 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 a lot going on, right, in that situation. Now, the, the thing that kind of, I wouldn't say bothers me because I get it mm. in a way, is that in a lot of situations, you just can't play things so safe. Right. You just can't play things so safe. Mm. When it's time to rip the Band-Aid off, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you got to rip that Band-Aid off. Right. It's been like that in almost every situation, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, oh, Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Paul was yeah. still there playing at a high level. Yeah. But when it was time, they didn't – I mean, they you didn't really – You had to really, rip the Band-Aid you, off. You just got to rip it off. You're right. Right? Yeah. Um, Even if you go back to the old San Francisco – yeah. With Joe Montana, Steve Young, you know what? Boom. That was Let's back and forth. Back and forth. You understand set what I mean? Down, set Montana down, yeah. tried Steve Young, brought him back. Yeah, yeah. But when it was time. Yeah, he was in. We're doing it, yeah. right? And so now you have a situation mm-hmm. where you have this team. Great roster. Good football team. You know this guy can't get you there. Jimmy Garoppolo. You know that. Yes. Right? You know he can't get you over the hump, which is why. That's a, f- yeah. You, you you got this guy here anyway, mm. right? So now what are you doing? Are, are we going to, oh, we're going to keep him as a backup and keep him back here? Like, f- for what? I didn't think of it this way. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? No, no, I, di- I didn't think of it this way. What if, Like, for what? I almost thought it was a positive saying yeah. for the roster, for the team, we as coaches and upper management are going to say, hey, this is the best decision for our team. It'd be better for us to remove him. It'd be better for Trey Lance to remove uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm -hmm. But we're doing the best decision. Yeah. But what you're saying is you really haven't made a decision. No. Is that what? You haven't. You really, like, you really haven't. Interesting. You really haven't. And so now Trey struggles he does anything wrong. He goes out there, he throws four interceptions, which Eli Manning has done. Everybody has done. Then what happens? <sighs> Where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? And you put Jimmy back in only to go what? To the playoffs and get knocked out again? Okay. What, 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 were, you doing? what were you doing? I wanted, I really, <laughs> I really wanted to stick to my philosophy on this and where yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. But I think you've just you've just you just convinced me. That's my job. You really have. You really have because it's almost like they're really protecting themselves. Playing it safe. But it, but are, are they actually in that? 
because you made some really good points. Mm. <laughs> really, I knew mm-hmm. you were going to go somewhere I wasn't ready. Mm-hmm. But are you helping the team as a whole? Are you saying, listen, OC, you're a dominant defense end. I know you want to win. I'm just going to try to get the best person on the field to win for you. Mm-hmm. You know, when you look at your roster like that. Mm-hmm. Debo Samuels, one of the best receivers. He wants the rock. Mm-hmm. He know Garoppolo can get him the mm-hmm. rock. Mm-hmm. That's happened before. Is there any of that that makes you say that decision makes sense from an organization standpoint? If you were running a company, which you do run companies, Mm -hmm. which you are a decision maker, Mm -hmm. you are a CEO, Mm -hmm. what would you do in that situation? What would I do? Yes, there's talent. But you you know how I am, Jason. What would you do? I'm I'm about – I'm not about that safe – that's just not – that's just not me. So you're going to sink and swim with Trey. Listen, okay. I drafted you here for a reason. I have my beliefs mm-hmm. that made me draft you here. I'm going to rip this Band-Aid off, and we're going to see what happens here. Wow. We Did- are going to see what happens here, Trey Lance. Okay, the risk is you lose the locker room or you other players. How? D- the risk is what do you do? to circumvent that. Do you address the whole team, look him in the eye and say, look, Trey, I was going to do X, Y, and Z, and this is the safe route. We doing this, it's on you. You don't think they know? You don't think the people in San Francisco, you don't think those players, right? you don't think they know Jimmy ain't taking him to the promised land? Or do you think they think Jimmy said, because the players know. Right. And sometimes the players know better than the coach. Right. So I was in a situation they drafted Eli Manning. Yep. Right? That was your strongest point. Drafted Eli. <laughs> the four interceptions was it, it was very strong point. Do you know who we had on the roster? Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner took Arizona to a Super Bowl after he left New York. You're right. Then he went to Arizona and did that. You're right. That's after he he thought his career was over. Was he a bad player? No. Nope. He was good in New York. Yep. You understand what I'm trying to say? He was not a bad player in New York. Mm. Could Kurt Warner have taken that Giants team to the Super Bowl? I don't think so. <laughs> and you wouldn't have had two Super Bowl rings. So Because you- Eli, as the struggles that he had to go through, everything that he had to do, all the beatings that he had to take, <sighs> Eli had there's something inside him, right, <laughs> that when push came to shove, he was going to show up, and we didn't know that. And we never would have known that if you kept Kurt Warner there and be like, you know what, okay, we're going to go back. No, you got you to you gotta be like, and imagine Eli now, right, there with Kurt Warner behind him. They signed Kurt Warner. Hey, Kurt Warner's now the highest-paid backup quarterback <laughs> in football, and he's right behind you Eli Man. Okay, I pose this question. Because I'm losing this argument, so I'm yeah. gonna, I need to pose another question. Yeah, it's just a question. No, I mean yeah. it's not even an argument. Not an but argument. I had yeah. a, I had a, I you had a point. I had a point that you thought, and I thought you might feel that point. Yeah. And you looked at me in the eye, and you was like, "Yeah, I feel you." And yeah. then you went left, and then another left, and then now we're here, and now I'm on your road with you. Yeah. Okay. Because I do agree with that. Mm. Is there something to be said about we're playing for now, and we're playing with this roster? Mm-hmm. And having that mentality. Yeah, how many years you gonna do that for? How many years you gonna play for now? Right. And then what? At what? Co- what does it cost you with Trey Lance? Yeah. Like how many? You, you, oh, we're just gonna keep playing for now. <laughs> we're gonna keep playing. To I get mean, you kind of are playing for now because if you got a great roster, when you think about roster building, mm-hmm. if you have a great roster mm-hmm. and you have a cheap quarterback, yep, you are basically saying, and this is what the Buffalo Bills did with Josh Allen. This roster is going to hold you down till we got to pay you the whole chalupa. Mm. And once we got to give you the big check, yes. you're going to hold us down. Listen, I, I understand the points. I understand the philosophy. But you have to look at certain things, right? And this league is a quarterback-driven league. You can have the best coaches. You can have whatever you want. When the chips are down – that guy is going to have to make plays that other people can't make. You saw what happened with Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. had a good guy. That is, yeah. Took him to the Super Bowl. 
Yep. But when the time, when they call it not cutting time, once that time comes, there's Jared Goff and then there's Matthew Stafford. Mm. Are we going to keep playing as the Rams? To yeah, we're just going to keep going with Jared Goff because we're we're, we're trying to go for now. We're competitive. And we're competitive. We're there. We got a good roster. But that was Matt Stafford, though. How do we know if Trey Lance is going to develop into that? We don't know. We don't know. He he is the ultimate unknown. Got to give him that. You got to give him that. You got to no parachutes. Either you're going to fly <laughs> or. You're going to land on, 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 on the ground. All right. I agree. Yeah. And I want to put this caveat on top of it. Yeah. Because I agree. You can only figure out. We talk about these quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. We talk about these great players when they're overcoming something. In this game, he did this. No parachute. Yep. And you cannot become that if you have a parachute. Nope. I saw. From play calling, from, co- from nothing. You got to get out of there. I saw a corner. Man, this it's a good point, OC. And this is why we're going to watch Trey Lance this year. This is why it's going to be a fascinating storyline. Mm. I watched a corner get drafted high when I was in Houston, go out in a preseason game and get – man, I never seen a guy get double moved and smoked like mm. this. If that would have been me, they would, I would have been – I wouldn't even – they'd have put my clothes in my car. I would Right even, then. Right then. Yeah. They'd be like, JBL, we love your service. You, you're you not Can't dressing with us. Yeah. Right? Mm. I watched the GM come off the field, and I saw him come across, and he grabbed him, and he said his name. He says – I'm so glad that happened mm-hmm. to you. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you got that out of your system. And, you know, you're going to bounce back. This is great for you. Yep. And I was like, this is different. It needs to happen. This yeah. is different. Mm-hmm. He had a great career. Yep. He had a great career. Yeah. Has to happen. Has, <laughs> I, hey, man, listen, I'm, uh, you've changed my mind. Thank and, you. And we're going to watch – we're going to watch the San Francisco 49ers closely because we're going to see these ups and downs and we're going to see how this plays out because mm-hmm. how is this going to impact Trey Lance? How is mm-hmm. he going to play? And I think you made a good point. I have another thing I want to ask you about that you probably have some insider information because okay. you know people mm-hmm. and you know things. Mm-hmm. We don't get into this, but it's that time of the year. Yeah. They do the top 100 voting. Interesting. Supposedly by the players, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The players vote. Mm-hmm. The NFL does it. Top 100. We can get into all the numbers or whatever. I really don't care about that. Mm-hmm. I'm always interested to see who number one is. Yep. I was <clears throat> quite surprised. Mm. It was Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Okay. Number one by the players. Number one by the players, supposedly. Okay. Let me tell you how they make this list. Yeah. Bring our b- bring us in. Let me tell you how they make this list. At the end of the year, uh-huh. the um, NFL people – network people, Mm -hmm. they come to you, Mm -hmm. come to players. Mm -hmm. They hand you a sheet of paper, Mm -hmm. and they say, I want you to write down the top 20 players in the NFL in your head. Okay. No particular order. In your head, just, oh, that's kind of tough. Just write down 20 players, Mm -hmm. top 20. You're there, you just write down the 20 players in your head. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to see this light already. They now take that... And they tabulate how many people wrote how many names. And this is what they use to come up with the ranking for the top 100 players. Oh, OC, 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 OC. This is how they, this is how they make the list. All right. So as you can imagine, on everybody's list. Tom Brady. They wrote Tom Brady's name down. So for, right? Who else you think of? Oh, Tom Brady. Tom, yeah. Aaron, you know. So their names show up Constantly. the most, yep. and this is how that ranking comes about. <clears throat> okay, Interesting story that I have to tell you about this top 100 Ooh. list. You know, they started doing this in, must have been like maybe 2009, 2010 is when they started doing this. Right. 2009, 2010. 2010, mm-hmm. right? I have... Arguably, one of the best seasons for a defensive end you were in history. You were a menace. You were a menace. Double-digit sacks, double-digit forced fumbles had never been done. Yeah, in NFL history. Yeah, you gliding in. The, you you scoring touchdowns hadn't been done in history. Yeah. of the game, mm-hmm. nobody had ever done that. Double. Yeah. Till this day, only one other person has done that, and that's Robert Matheson. Like three, four years after that. Oh, I didn't know. It was never that. been done. Right. Top one hundred list comes out. Mm-hmm. I wasn't on the list. 
You're kidding me. <laughs> I promise you. After the single top five seasons for a defensive end in history, no top 100 list. I have a question for you. Yeah. I'm Look where my mind is about to go. Of course. It's your name. <laughs> ah! They couldn't, couldn't spell your couldn't name. Write it down. Like, oh, how are we gonna? I do OC. I don't. I, so I'm just not gonna write it. Go something else more easy. And this is the Jeez. genesis of. I was You're, like, oh, they don't. They and then they don't say the. They don't. I can't write them down. Couldn't write them. And it, I'm, you know, it's it's easy to say your name now, people. But I could say it because I played with you. I heard it but every if you single day. Couldn't. Could you imagine? Right, it's like you in Kansas City and uh, somebody's like, I'm not gonna write yeah, that. Yeah, write down. Cause you don't even want to embarrass yourself, cause it's about you. I get you that. Write that down? I understood, but wow. I'm telling you that first of all, that's how the list is made. Yep. And second of all, I understand why there's a lot of things that you know happen and people are like, oh, why is this? Why is that? Why is this? What? Cause that's how people literally have to write down twenty names. And <laughs> and as soon as you popped up, they go, I ain't writing that. Mm. Let me just. Somebody else will do it. Let me just write something else. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So that's the top 100 list. And this is why Tom Brady would be the number one. Because on everybody who has to write the top 20 list down, every single person, I can guarantee you, wrote Tom Brady, Aaron Donald, all those guys. They wrote their names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, there's no. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's, oh, I can't believe you weren't top 100. If yeah. OC was to put a list down and put number one, mm -hmm. I can go first or you can go first. Mm -hmm. Who would your number one be? Got to be Aaron Donald for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. I would have to say he's he's the best player in the NFL. I think he plays his position better than anybody else plays their position, just from, from what I've seen. Guess what? Mm. I'm Aaron Donald, too. You're AD. I am. Yeah. Because I looked at it purely on how much do you impact the game. Yeah. So if, if you're not throwing the ball, you're, you're hitting the guy that mm. throws the ball. And everybody, he's changed it, and everything is schemed towards stopping him. Yeah. He just he dominates. Yeah. The man won the Super Bowl. Yeah. The man won the Super Bowl mm -hmm. with his performance. Mm -hmm. So, I'm with then you. Then he started hitting people in the head with the helmet. I mean, that's a, we can talk about that next that week. That was a little <laughs> Come on. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> AD, come on. Bro. I know, I know. I know, but I didn't say anything cuz a friend of ours was on our podcast a long time ago and talked about that happening yeah. in practice. So, yeah. I was like, "Eh, I have done some things Ripping off some helmets, yeah. throwing some hands. Yeah. I didn't use the helmet as a device, yeah. but I hit him with a with a quick yay yay, yeah. you know, and then body body, you yeah. know. But I mean, you can sometimes you, you in the heat of the moment, ah, bang. Yeah, yeah. But, but he was. Bah, yeah, you can't bah, actively. Bah, bah, yeah, you bah. can't. You can't. You can't lose it. <laughs> Yo. Yo, how do you? What is that? But that that anger is how you beat double teams all day. That's true. That is that is very true. One last thing. Yeah. All right, th this is for our, our our Karens of the world. They mm. they but look, Shut up all of Karen. all of all of what we've been talking about is is what real if life Karen stuff. Karen is making something for Thanksgiving because I can't no, wait. No, they're no they're, Thanksgiving. They're leave. They're gonna be in America because their daughter's in college. Wow. I know. No Thanksgiving this year. No Thanksgiving. I know. Shout out to Karen K and Andy. Andy, they just they gotta be parents. Yeah. Yeah. They're 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 a child. Who used to work in this office? Yeah, is at Tulane University. Incredible. Yeah, it is. We don't care nothing about that. <laughs> we want that meal. So they need we to don't care that nothing out. about <laughs> your child at Tulane. We got to figure. We want our Thanksgiving. We got to figure something out. We do. Yeah. We do. She's we a do. really lovely girl, though. It is. It really is, nice, yes, people. Yes, nice, nice people. Nice people. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I saw this mm. and it got a social media kind of push and people retweeting all this and. I saw people's response, and I want to know what you think. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. Uh, the country of Nigeria. Mm. Was it the government that made this statement? Yeah, it was basically a part of an arm of the government. An arm of the government mm. basically made a statement saying that they are no longer. And please correct me because mm -hmm. I'm. I, I know I'm going to not articulate this correctly. Mm -hmm. um, 
no foreign models mm -hmm. will be used in campaigns mm -hmm. in the countries because they have enough models mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like actors, models, anything mm -hmm. that appears on television yes. or radio, okay. they were no longer going to use foreigners yes. to do it, right? Okay. Yeah. Which you could be, you know how they say, oh, America first. You could say this is Nigeria first yeah. uh, thought process. Yeah. But oddly enough, what had happened is over the years, um, I think the number I saw was like 90% mm -hmm. of the uh, work for like commercials and you know, all those type of things were done by foreigners. That high? That high, right? That wouldn't happen in any other country. It wouldn't happen nowhere else, right? So this is what <clears throat> had been brought to their attention. They're like, okay, we're gonna put an end to this and we're gonna put an end to this right now. Mm -hmm. But more importantly than that is the fact that there's 200 million people in the country, mm -hmm. over 200 million, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of struggling actors, um, voice people, a lot of struggling talent, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so the thought of, uh, you know, bringing in that high amount of foreigners to do a job that you have plenty of capable. We people. have plenty of capable people in, you know, to do that job is one thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so, in some form or fashion, I kind of, I get where they're coming from. I don't like the idea of protectionism. Yeah, I don't, that's I don't, what it yeah, is. I don't, I don't yeah. like that idea. Mm -hmm. I have never really been a fan of. That idea, mm -hmm. I believe in the free market and mm -hmm. let that dictate. But it, it 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 was too it was too skewed in the area of um, foreigners doing this work. Imagine you're in Nigeria, you know, um, full of your people, and almost every single commercial you see, you're seeing uh, foreigners doing these commercials. Yeah. It, it's a little. It should at least been fifty fifty or yeah. maybe seventy thirty. Right? Mm -hmm. Can't be ninety one way. 10% the right. other. Right, and I did not know that yeah, statistic ridiculous. was that high. What I found really, really interesting, though, mm -hmm. was listening to the response of people mm -hmm. and how stupid we are. I thought about that. Yeah. So stupid that, that we are as people, right? The extreme response. Nowhere did they say Nigeria has banned white models or whites. Act nowhere said foreign foreign is anybody outside of nigeria and there's a lot of different countries outside of nigeria <clears throat> the fact that people's mind jumped straight to white people and oh nigeria is banning white people and blah, blah. where did they where in where did they say that the statement clearly said foreign <laughs> not white foreign why did we go, why did, not we, because we didn't do that, but why did people take it upon themselves to further sow and create more division at a time when we don't need that? By default, OC, people go straight to that. I mean, it's like we're looking at a document and we're reading it and we see one word and we just stop and we go, no, but it's this. Because that's the way I looked at it. I mm. watched, I looked at responses and I thought, where are they going with this? <laughs> and why are they going with this? And a lot of this, I believe, a lot of the people that would be saying that, if it was in reverse, mm. the first thing <clears throat> they would say would, would be, well, it's not about color. Yeah. This has nothing to do with anything except the statistic you told me. <laughs> yeah. And Nigeria happens to be surrounded by a lot of black countries. countries. <laughs> a lot of A them. lot of countries <laughs> with different skin tones. Yeah. And I hear what you're saying about free market capitalism, but I always believe the government at some point um, in your capitalistic nature, you're gonna make decisions based on profitability. Yep. Government comes in, tries to make it fair. It's, you know, it's always a, 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 a back and, and forth. Yep. Right, right. But in this, man, just the response. Come on, man. Come on, people. Just just think for a second. Be a fly on the wall. Mm. Don't take it personal. Look at the entire picture, then make a decision on whatever your opinion might be. Yeah.
fascinating, man. I'm glad you and I think that way, but I can guarantee you that a lot of the people who read the responses mm -hmm. probably immediately went with, "Yeah, oh, they're banning white people. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. No thoughts whatsoever to what was actually said. Nothing. Straight away. You went straight with that. Then when you are an artist, when you are li like on an artist visa somewhere else working in different countries, you have to come in and you have to say, hey, I'm qualified to do this because of all these different criteria. Mm. If not, they want somebody local. When you have to play, in the, and I'm no expert on this, you probably mm. are, in the premiership in this country, mm -hmm. you have to have done certain things. You have to have played at a certain yeah. level, right? Yep. All of that. It's just making everything systematically function for that country, country. For that for the for the rule of law to make sure that their people have the ability to work because we know one thing. Money can move everywhere once in the world. Yep. Labor cannot. Nope. Till next week, my brother. <laughs> <Is it? laughs>